Hey guys, it's Warrior Chicken and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Today we're going to be continuing episode one called Done Running. And as I mentioned last week, things are going suspiciously well. We were pretty much saved from our almost certain death by a bunch of kids and teenagers. And it turns out that they're running this pretty solid looking place so far. They, they're living in an old school. They seem to have a good thing going on, but it's making me suspicious how well things are going. So, you know, I, I'm anticipating something bad happening, but obviously we're gonna hope that nothing bad happens, you know? We're just gonna make sure that Clem and AJ don't cause any trouble and, you know, we can pull our weight and hopefully prove ourselves to the group because I like them and I, I like where we are I like what they have going on and I hope that we can only make it better but I don't know I tend to have a history of walking into people's lives and ruining them in the game of course so without further ado let's continue That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like 10? Yeah, like 10. Huh. I, I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Oh, that's hers. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. Oh. No, we gotta give it back. We can do something else. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Well, that's settling yeah, in. is that okay? Sure, I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had like paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva, she was really musical. Not like Lewis though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend and Minnie, uh, we were close, me and her. What exactly happened to them, Sophie and Minerva? They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking That's sometimes. That's true. There's a lot of guys. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, 
I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, out there against those walkers. Thanks. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. <laughs> Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. <laughs> see ya. Yeah, see ya. I'm gonna guess then the sisters were probably the ones in the photo of <sighs> okay, that memory. Alan Jr. Time for bed. That book okay. in the drawer. Okay, here. For me? For the wall. To make our home look nice. <laughs> That's a good idea, AJ. <laughs> he tried really hard. How about here? <laughs> uh, AJ? Uh, what you doing? Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Well, it's safe out here, too. Did you see the size of this place? It's huge, and there are plenty of brick walls to keep us safe. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. <laughs> if I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? <sighs> Please, Clem. It's no. not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. <laughs> Good night, AJ. Aw. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too. Me too. Honestly, I like AJ's vibe. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just like, you know what? Like, every time he's gonna say something, it's never what I expect it to be. And I, and I like that. He keeps me on my toes. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Oh, it's already mapped out the place. Up here. Come on, Clem, this way. Oh, he's gonna be such hey, a good AJ, survivor. Right up. I can just, I don't know, I have this instinct that he's just gonna, he's gonna do so well for himself. Tintu. Aww. Oh. Hey, Clem. Thanks for the pencils. I missed having colors. Sure thing. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They're still out there. Someday, maybe you'll meet one. That would be cool. Super cool. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, AJ. give it back. 
No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's <sighs> not yours anymore. Oh my... <laughs> Clem, please? No, we gotta teach him a lesson. He can't steal things. It's mine. No, it's not. <sighs> Fine. Thanks. <gasps> Good kid. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. Hey, what'd you find? It's a picture of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow. They've known each other a long time, huh? Marlon? Oh, hello? Stay back. Oh, you're so cute, though. I'm sorry. Oh, you're probably. What are you? You're not gonna bite me. Whoa, what the hell's going on? Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, girl. Shh. Your name's Rosie. Come on. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of him. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you is all. Here. I'll show you. Do you trust me? Rosie. Yeah, of Sorry. course. I promise she's not gonna bite. <sighs> okay, I guess. <laughs> get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. <laughs> lie down, Rosie. See? So Not so hard. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, he bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left, and I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. out here oh that's where we fish I got a shack for storage right here right along the river it's secure mostly get the occasional walker to come by vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit that's the train station there was a whole stash of food under the floorboards oh where you crashed your car pretty sure that place a lost cause there's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. I still don't understand how a grenade literally just 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 rolled out. Like it definitely wasn't put there by the couple, so I don't know. I'm just very suspicious. About it. Really, <laughs> fucking don't go here. I just love how like every single bit of writing or everything they say, they, they, you know, they gotta throw in a little swear, which is not good because we're trying to teach AJ to not use the swears. What's the trap area? The hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and a Sam are set to go check them today. 
I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. One more thing. See these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years, and the food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. We've this already lost so much. Probably Friends, referencing siblings, I, ten sisters. I can't let another kid die. It could break us. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. I don't like Everyone's making promises. To step up, be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. But maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what do you need from us? Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will anyway. Lewis, uh, just hope he shows up. If I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. Hmm. Fish with Violet and Brody or hunt with Lewis and Sim. I think Lewis has got it. I, I'm really. I'm just really curious about Violet, so I kind of want to go on the- I want to go fishing! I want to go- I want to go talk to Violet. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat, you're both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. Oh, I love the dog. I love this place. You know, I just... I just... I don't like making promises I can't keep. Like, I don't want to promise we're not going to lose anyone, but I, I sure as hell hope we're not going to lose anyone else. I don't know. I feel like they keep talking about this safe zone thing. Definitely don't want to push it. At least for now, because we're still new. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. You come on, bye. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? No, bud. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. Mm. We'd run out of gas eventually. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? 
Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted. If gas wasn't an issue. Or a busted carburetor or flat tires or the transmission. Buzzkill. Florida. Kenny got me on Florida. I'd drive down to the coastline. Maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun. And die of skin cancer. Fun. We're Ooh. all gonna die. I'll take skin cancer over turn it into a walker any day. <gasps> you know what? I've lived here my entire life. I like her. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah, I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Where are those spears? Hey, about by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. <sighs> Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. That's warming up? Hmm. Time will heal at everything. I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? Oh. About me? It's just been eating me up inside. She should do it, but I don't have that sure option. Thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Find a spear. Really? I can't, I can't just walk over it. I gotta walk all the way around. Oh, wait, the spear was there! Oh my god. Now let's look at all this. Look at the potting. Just some old gardening supplies. Hey, maybe we can start another greenhouse. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? Oh, I thought that was Marlin? Oh. They're definitely girlfriends. It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Okay. I didn't put that one together. I'm glad Clem did that. Lost love. Oh, that's why she's... That's probably why she feels so strongly. Oh. Yeah, can't blame Violet. Well, I guess I gotta talk to her. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Good reach and sharp. I feel like we have to use this against a zombie for some reason. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. Ah. 
Alright, we'll wait for the next fish. Any luck? I got something good enough for me. Dinner. Looks like a meal. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> I understand. There are people I still miss, too. It never really gets easier. Yeah. It really doesn't. You're just gonna end that conversation? <laughs> Alright, let's get another fish. I'm a pro. Heads up, guys. The hole's not looking that great. Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh. She definitely thinks you hate her. Yes, girl, channel that anger. Get some dinner. Oh my god, they're going fast. I scared them. <laughs> Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Job! This kid is brilliant. I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie... She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slowpokes coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Yeah, I guess sometimes I walk in and fix things. Sometimes. Things are still going suspiciously too good. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Oh great, here comes the bad. It's been too long without a bad. Hmm. Empty.
a cigarette butt. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Someone's got a habit. All right, we'll go find whoever's got the Bible stashed in their in their drawer. Monster. Guys, over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? I found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. Don't tell me that's the only option. The option outside the safe zone. I already know it's gonna be such a bad idea if I have to go. So, <laughs> why is this the only option? The train station, it's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. Exactly. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. I'm already getting gonna get myself kicked out. I mean, if Marlon's the leader here, he basically told me to make sure everyone stays safe. Oh my god. See, you know what? This is where I don't like, right? I don't have the option. Because if, if I had an option there, I would have said we are not going, but I don't know. I, I hope. Hope it works out. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't have a good feeling. The place was sprayed with bombs or grenades. And it still looks pretty terrible. This. This is. Oh, this is not going to go well at all. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's yeah. either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. This is bad. This is so bad. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. Um, not right now, though. I climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. <laughs> Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're well, I guess basically I have no... a walking distraction. I have no choice. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> I'll distract him until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! 
Oh no. We voted him first to die. If he actually dies, this is gonna be terrible. Oh come on, let's don't die. Hey, ugly! No, not you. Not you either. Damn. Fine. Make it confusing my <laughs> Sneaky. I already know you're gonna be a problem. Hammer <laughs> angles aren't doing me much good. <sighs> so far, not dead. So far. Let's keep it that way. It's no one already. What is he waiting for? Come on, come on! Fucking Chris. Just give him a second. We may not have a second. Keep hush. I'll watch the door for walkers. Okay, AJ and I will sneak in, grab the food, and get out. Sounds good. Let's make it quick. I feel really bad bringing AJ into this. Hey, okay, you better not be up. See, I knew something was up when the the, the controls wouldn't let me walk around it. I, I I was like programmed to walk into that. Hello again. Oh, oh, there's another walker in here. I just, or maybe that was outside. I saw something. Yeah, maybe it was yes, outside. These will be perfect. Clem, look. Try it out. See if it works. Hey, now turn it off. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <sighs> I don't like this. There's a freaking grenade in there before. Good job, AJ. Is there more? Rice? Keep it coming. It's gonna be a feast, that's right, if we can actually get out of here alive. Stand. Slowly. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. Oh, you're a smoker. I mm. don't have to. Who are you? The name's Abel. And I'm hungry as hell. Oh, God. Those Bible pages. Abel. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. Oh my god. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. I count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? 
Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Yep. Only ugly and hungry. Mm -hmm. now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? <laughs> now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Oh, gosh. Please. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. I'm not taking a chance. AJ, lower the gun. Clem, he's stealing our food. Alvin Jr., now! You can shoot him on the way out. Wise woman. Clem, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. I was just leaving. Thanks for dinner. Who in the fuck was that? Just take a bag and fill it up. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh god, someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. What happened in there? Just move. I'll tell you on the way. Okay, you know what? That was actually not about escape. I thought I thought something was gonna happen there, but man. <laughs> god damn it, Abel. In your ugly, lonely, hungry face just had to show up. At least he didn't take everything though. At least he couldn't. And honestly. Good idea for just Clem to say, you know, let's just the fast, fast, fast. At least we got something better than nothing. You are not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim! Bitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Yeah. <laughs> like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither okay. of you. Where did you find all this? Yeah. The old train station. Clem knew where it was. <laughs> train station? That's outside the safe zone. There we, we go. We have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Oh, does she know who it is? Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here, and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. Thank you. It's happened before. 
You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. <laughs> wow. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! I just... what? Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... I know. Shit. The safe zone. God. Nothing's easy. Yeah, I'm sorry. My bad. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Oh, I wonder what would happen if I let AJ shoot him. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. Rosie will save the day. Go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. All right. Um. Don't worry about them. Bye. They're just sad. Sad. Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Oh, that's recent. Did it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. <laughs> Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. <laughs> what if I could, Ten? I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Oh. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. What a good kid. I guess that doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Very mature kid. Someplace safe and happy. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Mm -hmm. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, Everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. Yeah! You sure. just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. A work of art. It's ours. He's got talent. His kids are, like, gifted. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Wow, what a kid, huh? He's so mature, kind, just... I almost feel bad that like, he was forced to kind of grow up a bit too fast, but I think he's got... Aw. Good kid. Very positive outlook, and you don't see that ever. Look who draws their their sister's walker killers in their 
future family photo. Like, Time I for that, that little guy. That positivity. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. <laughs> Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I'm gonna lie. I do, I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. I feel iffy, but I don't want him to be scared. Clem, yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. <sighs> it wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. Yeah, I'm not mad. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. I don't know why I'm actually... I'm kind of nervous about that guy. Not just for letting him go. Like, obviously he should be happy that we let him go with food, but... I don't know. I feel like he's going to cause trouble and come back and then everyone's going to blame me. Well, at least I guess Brody would bl uh, blame me. Look at back... What backpack? I don't see no backpack. Yeah, look at the backpack, because there's no backpack. Ink 10's drawing. Yeah, let's let's hang it. Hang it up. There. That's a good drawing. <laughs> He's a good artist. Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. <laughs> Confidence. I like it. <sighs> so cute. For Clem from AJ. What does it say? Oh, me protecting Clem. Oh! Little man. You're so cute. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Alright, well, let's look at this non existent backpack. I'm so used to lugging this everywhere. Never lugging what? Never we find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Yeah, because it's not there. You're seeing things. What's oh, there now? <laughs> what is this? Okay, um, this is getting a little supernatural. Let's go to bed. I might might just be hallucinating now. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's Brody and Marlin fighting. In the pipes. I 
I think someone's in trouble. What is it? Is it oh. us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. It literally just sounds like they're arguing. I know. But I don't know. But the, with the crazy man on the loose. Well, not a crazy man. A hungry man on the loose. You can never be too careful. Just a little farther. Of course, it's the basement. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Oh, I gotta go outside? I wanna go outside. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I don't know. That guy, that guy, that guy, he's... I just, I keep seeing his face in my head. I feel like... He's trouble. If he's not trouble now, he'll probably be trouble at some point. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll never see him again and it, he was just there to stir up the group, but... Oh. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's a- that's a- a great sign. A last bit of light. Map. There should be another entrance to the basement around here. It was a cellar door. Heavy. Can never go wrong with a brick in a zombie game. Oh, look, right there. Alright, who am I gonna have to hit with a brick down here? It is them. So they're probably fine. It's probably none of my business. Did I just listen? Did I have to? Can I just leave? I guess I can't. Alright. I guess we're breaking in. Sound. This is it's about to become a horror game. About to become a horror game real fast. I don't know if generally this game is a horror game, but hey, it's creepy, but <laughs> this is just like this is kind of scary now. We don't even know for sure was that. Did they not hear me? How do we know he didn't follow them? You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know that shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! Oh, no, we have to tell the others about what you did! Wait, what did he do? Sarah, show yourself! Clem! 
What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. Didn't exactly sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Okay, I see. The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Oh, it Tell sounded like it. Flynn. She's acting crazy. She there is a problem. Sometimes. She's just gotta tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! What? Dead sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Why? Because Marlin was so ashamed of what she did. Oh my god. Uh, what'd you say? <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Shit. What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. Promise. God damn it! Hell! Did you say that? I told you not to say it. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? A first aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? See? Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach. Swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's well, he scared. already did. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back... Marlon said he'd let him take you. Take us? Wow. To make him go away. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. Oh, God. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> Oh my god. I- Oh fuck. No. No. Oh no. no. What the hell am I gonna do? She's gonna turn. Marlin! Marlin, you um, son of a bitch! Don't do I'm this! I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you talk to the others. Oh my god, he's gonna frame me! If I could find something really thin, I could force it in there and lift up the latch. Oh my god. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help. <sighs> okay, I was not ready for that. So why was why was he giving them people away? Like, I just... Why? Hello? Is she alive still? I... I... Oh my god. Is she alive? I can't remember where she is. This is a freaking maze. Oh! Oh, she's not alive. Oh my god, I forgot. She's turning! Oh no. <laughs> Is that a... Yes, this will work. Oh my god, she's gonna try and kill me. She's gonna try and kill me. Oh, this is so bad. Right, how, do, how do I get out of here? I see blood. That's where obviously uh, he 
hit her. So is there another way? Come on, I literally just... Oh no. <laughs> I knew it. Oh god. Hold. We gotta leave. We cannot. No way this girl's gonna be that fast. Oh my god! Oh, great. Someone's gonna walk in. They're gonna see this. And they're gonna think I murdered her. Watch. Someone's gonna walk in. Right now. Right now. Now. Okay, I guess I was wrong. But, I don't know. I, I feel like now, <laughs> I feel like... Okay, if they were this good at keeping secrets, I don't know. And lying and all that. Oh god, they're totally gonna frame me. And this is that the new person, no one trusts me. Oh god. <laughs> this is about to be so bad. <sighs> like, like, there's no way... Our group's gonna recover from anything that just happened right now, so. Put the gun down. Get this fucking cycle away from me! <laughs> is Aiden. What is. Where is she? <laughs> so protective. She's in the basement. She murdered Brody. I knew it! What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clem, did you do? Oh. We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled and murder. Well, fuck them. Fuck, Marlin. Jesus Christ. You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shane, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? Did help us get food. 
good as food if a group of outsiders just gonna come oh, along and take look. heal? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. I'm gonna heal we don't know her, y'all. To Violet. I think she can vouch better. Say, but we don't. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Oh shoot. Really. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought we got that bond. I guess not. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak. Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what did Mindy want you to do? She was my friend too. So is Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you two! <gasps> oh! Lila? Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. Uh oh. You don't get it. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Fucking one of you! How is pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expended. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie! Minerva! We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. Uh. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! AJ! What? I aimed for the head. <gasps> God, after all of that. How did he... 
Oh, because he dropped the gun and then AJ... Why would AJ do that? I'm just shooting an hard person. Oh. Alright, well, I guess there's our little bit of trauma for the episode. I was getting a little suspicious, but... Oh, oh my god. I don't... I don't know how we're gonna fix this now. We got ourselves out of that one mess, now we're gonna get ourselves in another, and... Oh no, this is gonna... <laughs> This is so bad! I don't even know what to say! I don't even have thoughts! I'm just in a state of, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. Ah, uh, You know what, I have to say, they, they really caught me off guard when they said that Marlon was trading people for safety. And I mean, I can see as a kid, you're, you know, you're, you're scared. And you think that, you know, like, I'm sure he had good intentions. But it was still a stupid decision. But I don't know, I don't know. Maybe we could have fixed it. I mean, I kept saying that because I just kind of wanted to calm him down. But... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that, I don't, I don't really have a thought on that. I'm just, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared things are gonna start to get really bad and now if we got this deal apparently in the air with these raiders. Eventually we're gonna have to deal with them again. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't really know what to do. Uh, but we'll just have to wait for the next episode. Um, it looks like now I can actually finally see my choices compared to everyone else. The last season I wasn't able to, so I'm glad I can now. So 56% of people killed the Walker couple. Which I think was very valid. 53% uh, went fishing with Violet and Brody. Okay, I don't really know if that would have changed much other than some maybe extra dialogue there, but... Or you know what, maybe in the end when we had to appeal to Violet or Lewis, it would have been whoever we went with. Which I guess makes sense why I chose Violet. 71% of players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. Aw, oh, see, 71% of us are are good parents. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't really know if that would have... What if that made a difference? Why is that even, like, listed as a choice? I don't... Like, is it, was this important? You... Oh my god, only 22% of us surrendered the food? 78 attacked him? <gasps> Should have I attacked him? No, no way. I definitely shouldn't have. I, I feel like we wouldn't have been able to kill him, or he would have killed AJ, and we would have to restart, or I don't know. <laughs> but but now knowing that we apparently had to deal with these guys, I don't know if this is going to be for the good or worse. But I'm hoping, I don't know, not attacking him will make things less terrible when we inevitably probably run into him, or his group. Okay, I don't know why they made the font so big here, but 61% uh, turned to Violet for help. Only 39% went to Lewis, which I'm surprised by. I mean, my reasoning in my head was that Lewis likes everybody and he could like come up with something on the spot. But Violet, I don't know, she says something that, you know, you know it's from it's from the heart. It's 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 good. Okay, and there's just my my choices again. What? Wait, hang on. You and 61% left Violet feeling guilty. She was annoyed when you didn't rebuff Lewis's flirtations. You me what? I don't I don't get what I did wrong there. She was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. You and 70% left 10 feeling bitter. What am I doing to these people? 10 was understanding of your hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. This doesn't make sense. How does this make him feel bitter? You and 
left AJ hardened. He felt comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed. He was disappointed that you let Abel get away. Brody- <laughs> Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Not my fault. Brody felt grateful when you resolved the conflict between her and Violet. He was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. You and 61% left Louis feeling heartbroken. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Why Why is this game making me feel like I was a monster to all these people? I literally just thought we were getting to know each other on a deeper level, but apparently I made everyone feel guilty, sad, bitter, and hardened. Dead. And dead again. Marlon was relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards the twins and Brody. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. I don't know. It's just, I, I think I trust dog people too much. Like, how do you not trust a dog person? Um, oh, you didn't, oh, I didn't get to know Omar. I don't know if I had that option. I don't even remember seeing him. Ruby approved of you teaching AJ manners at dinner. You didn't get to know Mitch. Sam was glad that you stopped AJ from reading his journal. You learned how to bond with Rosie, of course. We're gonna bond with the dog. And Willie was fascinated by you <laughs> when you met him for the first time. Why was he fascinated? Um, you collected three of six items. Oh, the drawing and the and the deer skull. I missed some nice flowers though. That would have been nice. And apparently another skull. I didn't realize we had like collectibles now. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I won't lie, I'm really surprised with how things turned out. I of course was expecting something bad to happen. I thought it maybe would have had to do with Abel. I don't know, there was just something about that encounter that made me feel like we weren't gonna see the last of them. Usually if it's just like a raid or a, someone that just kind of comes and goes, I feel like they don't really tell you their name. And I don't know, I feel like now that we know them by name and... Well, now, now we obviously know that there's some kind of secret trade deal going on. I, I don't... I don't know, I'm a little bit confused. I didn't expect this to come out. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't expect this situation to be the bad thing that happened, and... I don't know, I guess a place run by kids isn't the best. But then again, like, I, I mean, looking at Marlin's intentions, it was to save everybody. And obviously when you're young and you don't really, I don't know, have a lot of experience, like, being a leader to, you know, in an apocalypse, I mean, I'm sure he did with the best intentions. He wanted to keep everyone safe, but, you know, he was trying to frame me and all that instead of, you know, I don't know, telling the truth. I was, I was a little bit mad, but I also feel like I can't blame him. Um... But I'm really curious now, because I'm gonna assume that we're gonna meet Abel again, or his group, or something in between there. Um, since they mentioned in the in the choices that the majority actually tried to attack him when he was trying to steal their food, I I don't know why you would. I mean, I think we I think everything went perfectly there because nobody got hurt. He left with a bag, sure, but we brought so much other stuff back. I don't know, so I'm, I'm hoping that kind of works out for us if we run into this group again. But it's also interesting now to think that all these people that Marlin's been trading, like, like, I'm confused what they mean. Like, I feel like, you know, either they took in people to make their group bigger, or they, they did they take these people to, to eat them? Are they cannibals? Is this like another cannibal situation? Was that what that reference was to Mars leg? I, I have no idea, but... I guess, you know, once we kind of get through the initial grieving process and kind of discuss a plan going forward, I feel like everyone's going to want to go looking for that group because they're going to want to find where all these missing people are. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm worried now about AJ because I'm trying to do everything I can to like keep him on the right track, but now apparently I've hardened him, but... I just, everyone thought he was a troublemaker from the beginning, and this is literally, like, how, it can't get worse than killing the leader. I mean, obviously what he did was absolutely crazy, and he probably deserves some kind of discipline there, but I can't believe he shot him in the head. I don't know, I just feel like that, that 
I don't know where you got that from. I, I don't know, but he's too mature to probably... And he hasn't had really much social interaction, so he probably doesn't pick up on these cues. He probably thought he was a threat, and I didn't have a chance to tell him to put the gun down, or, you know, there was no one there to tell him no, and he just, he did it. But I'm, I'm worried now how people are going to start to treat AJ, because AJ has to come first and say if they want to kick AJ out of the group, which could also happen. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go with him obviously so it's gonna suck if I have to go on my own again but I don't know I feel like this could go a whole lot of ways now but I'm, I'm really really sad but also like kind of amazed at how how bad things went so quickly I mean you're, even I knew something bad was coming I didn't expect it to be that but anyways next week we'll pick up here and we will start episode two suffer the children I don't like the title of that because that means AJ's probably gonna suffer. I mean, I figured he just killed someone, but I don't know. <laughs> I have a really bad feeling. I wish things didn't end like that. I feel like we were just about to turn everything around, which never really happens when bad things happen. But we'll just have to see. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye.